Hi, I'm Steve Blox, founder and CEO of Apple. Today, we are excited to inform you that Minecraft has recently received its most premium update yet, the Apple update. Here at Apple, we truly want to make our customers feel valued, which is exactly why we have a new name for our new version of Minecraft. Minecraft X Pro Max Plus Mini Ultra. This version is just like the regular version of Minecraft, except for of course, it's backed by Apple, which of course means it will come in at a more premium price. Unfortunately, being the CEO, I have a very busy schedule to keep, which is exactly why I hired someone to shoot a very special video for you today. Yo boss, the, the team's headed out. Uh, we just finished downloading Tesla's design logs. Uh, we were just wondering if you wanted to go to the bar with us or what, what's going on tonight. Uh, yeah, give me give me one sec. I, did, I, I just gotta finish this up. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoy this new version of Minecraft. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the new version of Minecraft. Yo, boss, you, you what? never put this much yeah, I, in. I said, give me one, what? give me one sec. Have you ever loaded into a Minecraft world and seen nothing but some grass, poor people, and an advertisement for the new StairPod Pros 2 and said to yourself, how much for a pair of those? The answer is yes. In today's Minecraft video, we are going to be going over how to survive Minecraft in the new Minecraft Apple update. The first thing that you're going to want to do when you load into a survival world is get some wood. Now, this isn't just any type of wood. This is apple airwood it is a much lighter but denser resource than regular wood commonly found all over the cube and can be mined for a low price of 4.99 per piece excluding taxes and service fees my personal recommendation for the most cost effective and efficient way to get apple airwood is to purchase the Applejack subscription for a low price of $79.99 per month or $800 annual renewal, allowing you to cut down as many trees as you would like. Since you have already paid for your Apple Airwood subscription, you are allowed to craft whatever you would like with it, as long as it's made on an Apple certified workbench. Luckily, we have just the thing. Allow me to introduce you the Jukebox. Allow me to introduce you the MacBench Pro. Made from a solid piece of airwood, the MacBench Pro is a light, portable workstation for anyone on the go, while boasting a 69% faster crafting efficiency as compared to other brand models. The first thing that you are going to craft on your MacBench Pro is a wooden pickaxe. With this, you will not only be getting bullied in class, however, you will also be able to mine eye stone, the material used to create tools that will make you socially acceptable. Now that you have a wooden pickaxe, you're going to do something that we like to call depthless digging, where you're going to open up Instagram. You're going to be staying near the surface of the cave, so you know, you don't run into any creepy creatures of the dark, such as creepers, skeletons, android. The goal of this mining trip is to get coal, not die, find an abandoned Best Buy to get more eye stone, and craft the full set of eye stone tools. Once finished, you're going to head back to the surface. Now, as far as I know, Minecraft makes it pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. It's E to be eaten. You're going to be going for cows, Chicken, sheep. Wait. Sheep. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. no oh. No. That's the wrong one. Oh, that that's, that's from the old one. script, right? Yeah. We don't want oh. to be associated with killing animals. Okay, fair. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No. Just, just, just say the new one. All right. I got you. All right. Now, as far as I know, killing animals is bad. Here at Apple, we believe in morals and environmental safety. That is why this version of Minecraft is entirely vegan. Not only that, but we want to make sure that our fans stay loyal. So we made sure to remove any fruits and vegetables that do not contain the letters A, P, P, L, or E. Once you have acquired food, it's time to set off and find a place to build your iHouse Mini. All right, now this part is where it becomes up to you. You're going to need to be just like the Apple engineers. Wait for designs to be made. Take them as your own. Steal Elon Musk. Once you find a suitable spot for a house, make a base. Now, this base can be a small hole, hut, or you can simply just lay everything out in the open to flex on the poor people. At this point, I would also recommend getting the storage upgrade for the low price of $119.99 for 30 slots of space, only keeping the necessities in your inventory. At this point, I would also recommend making an apple eye bed, crafted with airwood and apple apples, allowing it to give off a beautiful red tint. Alright, so once you have located Apple Base 1, it's time for you to decide how you want this base to look. Now, this is just the starter base, so no worries. Now, to get a generally good looking house, you are going to want to get some airwood, 
airwood light, eye stone, and a little bit of social pressure. Start by making your floor with eye stone, 50 by 50 so you have plenty of compensating space. The next thing you are going to do is make a box plainer than our packaging. Next, mine out a hole for the door and don't make any windows. If you install windows, you might as well admit that you can't afford our products. Proceed to outline the entire box in airwood, lining up corner to corner. Now, this part is necessary for it will allow your house to be more attractive, allowing for bigger parties in the future. Now, you can either do two things when you get this new house. You can either move into your new house peacefully or spend the first month of ownership vlogging and flexing to make a little bit of extra income every month. Now, once you have your house together, it's time to get some farms going. Now, a hoe can be acquired by getting two sticks into my stone or simply pulling up with our limited edition apple eye pair and you should get plenty. Now, hoes aren't necessary for the farms that you will make. However, they can help the process go a little bit faster by giving you a helping hand. What you are going to be making is an apple farm. Simply grow some trees and some more trees and some more trees. Once you have planted all of your trees, you will need to allow time for them to grow. You are going to be going on a short mining trip. You are going to be going for full apple armor. You will need to get 24 apple ingots for your armor and 9 apple ingots for your eye tools. Do not make an apple hoe. Always remember, hoe rides with no. Your goal is to get 33 apple ingots while trying your best not to get kidnapped by Apple's design engineers. Once you have your apple ingots, head back to the surface. During this time, your trees have grown. Harvest your airwood immediately. Soon after, you should see some apple apples falling to the ground. Make sure to pick them all up, and if you're having trouble doing so, make sure to buy your apple 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 basket for $19.99. Now that you have fully harvested your apple apple farm and have a full set of eye tools and apple armor, you are going to be headed back into the mines. For rare resources such as diamonds, gold, the path to your lost airpod, your goal is to go below Y16 as that is where diamonds spawn. Always remember, the deeper you go, the better the results. This means that diamonds will begin to spawn more frequently at lower layers. Now, when it comes to diamond mining, there are three options. You can either go caving, branch mining, or strip mining. Caving is where you run through the caves similarly to how our engineers run through Tesla's design logs, only picking up the things that you want to use in the future. Branch and strip mining are a little different. Branch mining is where you go to your nearest bank branches and make continuous withdrawals until they notice, while strip mining is where you take all of your clothes off, scaring away all the competition, leaving more resources for yourself. It is important to do this on y equals negative 58 as well, as you are mining so deep that no one will know that you are trying to get your money up. You will be going for 6 diamonds and 14 to 18 obsidian. You want 3 diamonds for a pickaxe, 2 for an iBook reader, and obviously need 1 for a jukebox. You want 14 to 18 obsidian for an android portal and your iBook reader. You can mine obsidian by making a diamond pickaxe. And it's up to you if you want to cut corners on the portal or not, as our engineers did it on the 2022 MacBook Air. So what's really the difference? Once you have acquired 14 to 18 obsidian, head back to the surface. There is no need to lose everything if you already have what you need. Once returned to the surface, you are going to harvest Harvest your apple apples, create your android portal, and place down your iBook reader. Unfortunately, that is where I'm going to have to leave you for today. Now, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this new type of video, and let me know if you'd like to see a part two down below. Also, make sure to leave a comment if you have any ideas for any funny videos to do in the future. Now, with all that being said, thanks for watching until the end. As always, I have been Grim, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.